It's Randy here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at another add-on for the Pioneer Rack from Rhino Rack. This one happens to be their through skewer bike adapter. Basically it's going to give us a two-piece bike rack. You can see we're able to attach our through axle bike to the front portion here. Bolts right down to the tracks on the Pioneer Rack and gives us a really nice solid connection point. Now it's gonna come with the 15 by 100 sleeve. That's a pretty common one. A lot of the bikes out there are gonna have that. But we also have this in a 15 by 150, a 15 by 110, a 20 by 110, and a nine by 135. So you can purchase different sleeves depending on your bike's configuration. That's gonna to connect to the platform in the exact same way, using a couple bolts going down into our slots. It's gonna give you a nice cradle for the bike to rest in and the strap to hold it down and in place. Now all in all, with the fully adjustable wheelbase, this is gonna fit a wide variety of bikes, even if you've got the longer downhill type bikes or some of the more shorter trail bikes like what we've got here today. I like the option of putting this on top. A lot of times, Especially if you've got a Pioneer Rack, you probably like to spend a little bit of time outdoors doing those kind of activities. And compared to having a, a platform style rack on the back or a hanging style rack on the back, I think it's going to alleviate a lot of those issues. Maybe if we go off the, uh, the pavement onto a gravel road, we're not going to have to worry about any dragging or anything like that when we've got it up on top. Now with staggering these all the way across, we could have one up a little bit further, the next one a little bit further back. This is gonna give us accommodations on the, the Pioneer rack here for up to five of these. So you can really get a lot of bikes up there on the roof. You and your friends get to your destination and get to riding. It's been designed specifically for use with the Pioneer platform. I like that. The colors are gonna match really closely. It's gonna look like, well, it was made to go on this. All in all, it gives you a really nice, clean look. We're not adding a whole lot of weight. And when we're done with these, we simply pull them off and these can be stored in our vehicle. We don't have to leave them behind. We don't have to worry about that. They're so small and so compact, they'll be easy to pack away. Now let's talk a little bit about the weight ratings that we've got listed. For on-road use, it's 37 pounds per bike. For off-road use, it's 24 pounds per bike. But when we say off-road, let's put it in perspective a little bit. We're not talking about gravel roads, dirt tracks, two tracks, or, or just going out through a relatively flat field. What we're talking about is if you're going to get into some more extreme terrain where our Jeep is all of a sudden going to tilt one way, then tilt back that other way. That's going to put a lot of side to side force on there. That's what we're looking to eliminate. If you're not doing that, you can go right up to that 37 pounds. You won't have any issues. Now, as far as security goes, there's no real way to lock the bike to the rack or the rack to the platform. So we'd recommend if you are worried about it disappearing, picking up the Rhino Rack cable lock. You can easily go around your bike go around your Pioneer platform, keep everything nice and safe, especially with these locking covers here. We'll know nobody's gonna get it off. Now it comes to that question we always get, is this something that you would buy? I like the way it's constructed and I like what it does. If I had the Pioneer rack and I had a through axle bike, I would definitely own this. It's small, it's compact, easy to tuck away, it's lightweight, it's also very cost effective. Now to install the rack, we're gonna get our T-slot bolts put in there, of course. Now the spacing on that is gonna depend on where you're putting it on the platform. We're gonna be putting ours over here on this edge. It's gonna make it easier to get to. So we're gonna bring it into the narrower section there. If you're gonna be going between two of the larger rungs, like from here to here, you'll wanna use that outer hole. We're gonna start with putting the back in first. I'm gonna slide that back. We'll leave that loose because depending on the wheelbase of your bike, that's gonna depend where we position that. We'll bring our front portion in. Get it put in place and then you can position that where you want on them. I'm gonna keep it pretty close to the front here. Just get it square. Use that provided tool to tighten them down. Now in your instructions, they're gonna give you torque specs for this. You don't need to over tighten it. Just get it good and snug. Now we'll get our bike put in place here. Now of course, since we are using the through axle design here, you're gonna need to remove the front wheel. Then that's gonna slide right through. And it's just like putting it on your bike. So we'll wanna 
tension it down and cam that lever over. Get that adjusted where we want it. Tighten down our fasteners there. We'll bring the strap around our tire. Get that pulled down tight. At that point, we're going to be ready to go.